Coming up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between Israel Adesanya and Bruce Lee. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Israel Adesanya. I hope you guys can like it. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Both fighters are 31. Adesanya will have a whopping 8-inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. <laughs> Ready. Ready fight. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the fight. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach. 
Kovacic is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Nice strike. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. And he landed the right hand there. Big body kick. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful land there by Alessandro. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, pulling and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Adesanya's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Big kick lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Three minutes to go here, round one. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel. Job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice leg kick land. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage of reach. Oh, wow! over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. <laughs> Timely defense there, huge block for him. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, Chris boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Come on, stay on. Circling away towards the left now. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. That's a big strike right there. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick there by Adesanya. It's just hard to know what's coming, and there's no stop in this game. I mean, there's no stop, and there's no tell. He's just at a different level when you're standing on the feet with Israel Adesanya. He's the last style bender. He's a character. He's He, he just has it, and he's that guy that gets people to tune in. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. 
All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Just unable to quite find that range. Adesanya going for the head kick. No dice. The right hook to the body. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Powerful leg kick lands. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. 69 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy rate here against Israel Adesanya. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. Punch over the top. Big leg kick land. Looking to land the right just out of range. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Adesanya. Massive head kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That was a jab. Adesanya's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Man, look at Adesanya putting his words into action. I don't throw and hope. I aim and fire. The accuracy is just on a completely different level, and not surprising that he has drawn comparisons to the consensus greatest middleweight champion in UFC history, the great Anderson the Spider Silva. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Let's go. Keep pushing. Came of inches right there, oh, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. <laughs> Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. 
Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strength. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big ball from West Land. Now we get back to range. Back and forth we go. the body he's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange relax, relax. Keep your hands up. oh huge block uh, Lee's lower jaw does not look good I don't think it's broken but starting to show some obvious signs of swell you gotta check these low leg kicks nice punch by Lee Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the jet, too. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Whiffs on the right hand. that one at all. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. Oh, good kicks. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. There's no tell on that leg kick. Adesanya's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple. Inside, he's hooked now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. He got it. Keep going again. Going again. Knee strike there, interrupted by Lee.
wonder how many more shots the opposition can take. 134 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And landing with 38% accuracy there tonight against Israel Adesanya. Big punch land. Ooh. Real sneaky body kick. officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes. Oh! I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. here, but unable to find the target there. Oh! Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Back and forth we go here! Lee gets touched by that kick there. somebody make kicking. Oh! What a fantastic strike. No! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Whoa! Whoa! That was nasty! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's gonna like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout. Coming up next, it is a welterweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Israel Adesanya.
All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and it's really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what's an obvious edge in reach. Just missing on that uppercut offering. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He lands flush with that right hand. Ooh. Israel Adesanya, I don't even know what that was, but it certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think would be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. Beautiful kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down for the opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, like this puts a smile on my face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Out of range with that kick attempt. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, big left. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Very tricky when he throws that body. Back kick. and forth we go. Punch is blocked. Oh, big punch man. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Israel Adesanya gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You've got to do better defensively. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice kick. out of the exchange. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Trying to hammer that lead leg. 
Israel Adesanya's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking a kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Nice straight punch. It's such a fast leg kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick. Oh! Oh, nice jab. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Israel Adesanya gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can round. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. This is a great fight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Look at the hip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And he landed the right hand there. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Ooh, this is the Little League Championship oh, between Bruce Lee as Joel Adesanya. Thank you guys for watching. Back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice punch here. Adesanya gets caught by that straight hand. Oh! 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 Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout.